the globalists admit what they're doing. They've done it in other countries before, but never as spectacular as they're doing it here. They are telling illegal aliens to come here and they can just stay and be given free welfare. And the border is just collapsing and Border Patrol are on record saying they're collapsing it. They're not letting the media in. Obama is saying on CBS News, quote, Obama cites Australia's gun confiscation program as example for U.S., says he's preparing to act with executive order. I mean, that is ominous off the chart. I was talking about getting Larry Pratt back on this Sunday because I'm always getting Larry Pratt on, it seems, on Sunday. Maybe we should just get him on tomorrow because that can't wait. The head of gun owners of America. I mean, this is just making me sick at my stomach. I don't want to have to leave the U.S. I don't want to be in the middle of a civil war. I mean, are we really going to let them destroy our prosperity? Raise taxes to the point everybody goes bankrupt? I mean, really? Kill the country? Really? Really? Total NSA spying on the liberty movement. Criminals run free. Big banks launder the drug money. The brainwashing of our children everywhere. Social engineering. A giant political class out of control. Paramilitary police everywhere. Pointed at the general public. Working for the criminal class. And remember police and military. You are the ones that are going to enforce for this scum. What a nightmare situation. And I'm not being negative. I'm trying to protect what's good in this world by being honest about what's happening in it. And it's not just rhetoric. It's not just we have a lot of proof. It's now flagrantly obvious they're doing everything they can to destroy this country out of pure hatred of what America once stood for. I, ideals is that what Napolitano was talking about years ago ideals that were never fully realized but ideals that scare them you can point all the problems of America. The issue is the ideals were revolutionary. The ideals were the Renaissance. The ideals were human empowerment. The ideals are dangerous to tyrants who want to run things through gangs and thugster gangsterism, not through the free market of having the better ideas, being the more talented, being the more interesting. And you've had a lot of corruptions in the world, but that went on for a long time because the corrupt just wanted to run things, but they wanted prosperity because that gave them a bigger system to be proud of, a bigger cash cow that they liked because it was their system. The globalists are the worst, folks. They hate manly men on record. They hate feminine women. They hate beauty. They hate power. They hate true honor. They hate people that are innately strong because they're a bunch of creepy globalists that got into power by being spiders, folks, and they don't like those of us that aren't scum. And they want to bring us down because they're scared of us, and they should be, because historically, ancestrally, it is the good guys that bring them down every time. And they have a race memory to that. The criminal, the control freak, and its genetic line that's in all races, colors, and creeds has a memory. It has an instinct of how to beat us. And it thinks that it can hide behind the complexity of the world, hide by the bigness of it. And hide behind the vestigial prosperity that's left over from freedom. And also they hide behind acting weak and liberal and uh, supine and they want to help you and uh, let's be friendly. You, know, you should be guilty. You should prove you're nice. You should be altruistic. You should, you should pay for the tens of millions of illegals and give them free everything or you're not a good host. They use our goodness against us. 
and then you study the elite and the stuff they're into, it just runs from bad to worse. And you realize they are just these incredibly evil people who are epically bad. You look at Bill Clinton, epically bad. Hillary Clinton, epically bad. You look at the stuff the Rothschilds are into, epically bad. You look at the Rockefellers, just to talk about a demonic energy to do bad and to screw up societies and do horrible things. They're involved in everything. Everything. You look at George Soros and his life, and he is epically bad. I mean, he you actually marvel, like John on the Isle of Patmos marveling at the Antichrist. You actually respect it and go, God, that's 80-something years of just from 14 years old on, just wrecking and hurting and doing horrible things and just persecuting and overthrowing and just and being remorseless and proud of it. Can you imagine going on 60 Minutes? You can pull it up on YouTube. They're always expunging it, but folks are always re-uploading it. Like if somebody has it, send us to it. I couldn't find it again about a month ago. He did a 60 Minutes interview, I think in like 99. And he goes, yeah, I helped round up Jews all over Romania, and I'm not ashamed of it. I just did what I needed to do. Yeah, big deal. Leslie Stahl interviewed him. And the reason I mention that is this is a guy coming after me. You know, his, his groups he funds are calling for me to be arrested or investigated. And I mean, and it's like, how weird is that? And I know I just keep bringing that up. It's just, it's so weird to have that sack of crap. Oh, man, I'll tell you, just it's over the top that he could operate in this country, that, that, that this slime ball isn't in a prison, and he wants me destroyed, and you know what? He might win, folks. America might be that pathetic. I just don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, what have we become? I should be positive that we see pro-liberty, anti-Federal Reserve, Ron Paul types, like David Bratt, winning primaries when his competitor spent millions and millions and he spent 150000 And you better believe the Justice Department is going over every donation. If they find a nickel that was improperly given, he'll go to prison, even though he has no criminal record. They don't care if you're, if you're as clean as a whistle, folks. They'll find something. And that's why we've now reached the point of anyone promoting liberty, if they haven't committed a crime against innocence, I don't care how much proof they've got, I'm done. This is a lawless group of scum. They are committing the crimes wholesale in front of everyone. And I'm sticking together with libertarians and paleoconservatives and constitutionalists because the Republican Party has been an evil anathema of blue blood scum, just as bad as the Democrats for decades. But under Obama and the Clintons, they're making their move to get rid of all checks and balances, all opposition. So I would support an inanimate fire hydrant against the Democrats as the I choice. I think an awful lot of people think that we're less safe to, today than we were a week ago because these five guys are out. These five guys are not a threat to the United States. The point is, is that it was illegal what you did and that's admitted. And so if you don't stop doing it or get in trouble, you're a dictator. That's the whole point. John, you popped in my ear earlier and I kind of missed what you were saying. You yeah, I, I was just uh, thinking back uh, yesterday about how when I was just a listener, uh, you were talking to, I believe it was Lindsay Williams, about Napolitano, who had told her friend to prepare in the next three years for a gigantic natural disaster. Well, I think we're here. I think this is it. And that was in Arizona, and she said it'll hit Arizona, and none of us knew what it meant. And the natural disaster is the inflow inviting Latin America up and then going, we've got to be sweet. It could be millions, not hundreds of thousands. And then the public's so dumbed down, they'll probably blame Rand Paul or me for the 15 million extra illegals. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, we've got to go get the Oliver North clips uh, from the Rex 84 uh, Iran-Contra hearings. Because if you read the Miami Herald about Rex 84 at the time in 86, 
when they had those hearings 87 it says they would use an immigrant inflow emergency to bring in martial law and i never understood how they would do that and now i think obama has pulled rex 84 off the shelf and of course we've said a thousand times here no exaggeration that they would use the illegals to prime the pump of the FEMA camps first, mentioning Rex 84. But no, I, I think you're right. I think we're now seeing it. Let, let's pull up the Napolitano uh, article. Outgoing DHS Secretary Janet Napolitano warns of serious cyber attack, unprecedented natural disaster. And it was Lindsey Williams two years before she